Hello everyone, uh, this is Sport Western Be here, back with another Nostalgia Republic video. Today I have you guys a Nostalgia Republic Achievement Hunter series video. In today's little video, we're just going to be trying to go towards the Imperial Ace title. Now this is a title you can obtain from completing the Imperial Space missions right here. As you can tell, I've completed a few of them, not all of them though. But as you can tell, the final reward is a, you know, Imperial Ace reward for a Legacy title. Now, I likely won't, of course, record all the achievements I'm trying to get towards it. Because, I mean, that would take a really, really long time. So, what I'm going to likely do is complete some of these space missions. And then, of course, I'm going to end off the recording. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go ahead and actually, you know, do the recording to the point where I actually get the Imperial Ace. Because that would take a really long time. I mean, honestly, completing all these missions can take a little while. So, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, Star Wars Republic video. As always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want some nice gaming glasses, then check the link down below. No scope gaming glasses, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the missions. Alrighty, guys, we are in a space mission right now. So I actually recorded a couple space missions, but they didn't actually record. It seems like my recording software didn't work out too well. didn't actually, you know, record. So, you know, we are doing this uh, somewhat difficult mission right here. We have to destroy some mines and all that, you know, crazy stuff. So, I mean, for this, I won't likely record all of these space missions because that will take, you know, quite a while to, of course, to do. But I will, you know, try my best to, of course, you know, record some good uh, space uh, gameplay. And I don't have the music because, honestly, I don't know why. I just feel like it's really relaxing just to go and, you know... Just have it where we can just chat and, uh, you know, take down at the, uh, you know, fighter things. So, uh, even then, that is just something right there. Now, I know with this mission, it is uh, quite a bit of a pain. Because, I mean, these mines are, you know, they actually do damage. They do hurt you, I believe. So, that is uh, something. You just got to quickly take them out. Yeah, as you can tell, you know, we are getting attacked. So, we do have to, you know, just dodge as best as we possibly can. Just take down all the mines. There we go. We are taking, you know, some serious damage. If you continue to hit spacebar, it will, you know, reduce uh, some of the damage because you won't actually get shot or hit. But yeah, I mean, with the Imperial Ace, you don't have to do all these super difficult missions because I know there are some dailies and stuff that are really difficult. Alrighty, guys. So we are still, of course, uh, just uh, traveling at the speed of sound. Just trying to, of course, you know, take down some enemies. Of course, uh, that is the goal right here. So we are just going to go and just do this once again. There we go, just gotta go and just take down all the mines right here. Just gotta quickly, of course, you know, take them out. So, there we go, just go and just continue to shoot at them right here. We do want to take them all out, like I said. So, I mean, if we take them out, if we just continue to do that, then we won't have a problem. So, there we go, just go and just do that. Now, I believe this is a bonus to, of course, take all these out. So, we could go after them. Of course, just go and just do that right there. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna continue with it. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, we could possibly go for the bonus, but we do want to save our missiles right here, because if we don't, then we will have some problems. Okay, you know, I'm just going to go for it right here. I'm sure I actually, I'm pretty sure I already missed one, so that's going to be kind of a failure anyways. So, this could, uh, you know, kind of suck for us, but I don't know. So, we are just going to go and just continue to actually activate this right here. Now, that delays it, so you can't actually be tracked by the enemy, so that is uh, pretty good, not going to lie. Okay, we do still have some time, so... This uh, shouldn't be too bad. Of course, I mean, we still have to get a heavy fighter. So, I mean, if we can get the bonus, that would be pretty good. But I'm mainly going for, you know, the Imperial Ace achievement. I'm not going for, you know, just completing every single achievement in the game. I'm going to try to get the achievements, possibly. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get every single achievement in the game. So, I know there are people that actually have tons of achievements. So, that's uh, pretty crazy. Alrighty, so we're going to go after this one right here. There we go. We just got to try to quickly take him out. I believe that wasn't actually a heavy fighter. Maybe he survived this somehow. I have no idea. So we are just going to continue to, you know, of course, attack right here. We do need to take them out right there. I mean, we have 165 mines destroyed. We got to, of course, you know, take down 875. So there we go. Just go and just take them all out right here. We will get enough. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about that, but we should try to get a heavy fighter if we find one, which I doubt we will actually find another one. But we can try to, of course, you know, complete the mission right here. Because that is really important to complete the mission, obviously. Completing the mission is really important. Because, I mean, the bonus is basically worthless if you don't complete the mission. So, we are just going to continue to, you know, just uh, dodge around right here. We got 2 minutes and 38 seconds. 
We still can see it in the distance, but we can't actually attack yet because we haven't actually gotten to that point. So we are just going to continue to, of course, you know, just uh, jump around right here. Just try to dodge everything. We are going to take some damage, of course, because, I mean, we can't dodge everything possible. So there we go. 2 minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. We are still, you know, just kind of going for the time right here. That is something that is important. I mean, you can complete the objectives, but you can still fail if you actually die, which, as you can tell, I'm taking incredible, um, yeah, incredible amounts of damage. This is actually, you know, pretty insane. My shield is starting to be completely destroyed. Which we don't want, because, I mean, our shield can protect us before we take damage. And, I mean, we don't have tons of HP. I mean, we do have a fair amount of HP, but our shield is basically our HP. And if we run out of shield, then our, you know, actual ship is going to start being destroyed very rapidly. So, we are just going to continue to, you know, just, you know, kind of dodge around. We do need this uh, shield up. So, I actually managed to just uh, take down the heavy fighter, because it actually just flew by and I managed to attack it. So... You know, we managed to complete that bonus mission right there, so that's uh, pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. We're at uh, 33 seconds. Like I said, all we got to do now is survive, and we will win this because we got all the objectives. That's the one big plus with this or this game mode is that you can, of course, you know, just uh, continue to survive. I mean, it is on rails, but it is the uh, main thing that a lot of people remember. Because, I mean, this was uh, kind of with the launch of Star Zero Republic. And I can take as much damage as I want because I will still survive. So, you know, we're just going to go and just do that right there. And there we go. We got five seconds. We're just going to get shot at. And there we go. We're going to go to light speed. And it looks like we got the hot shot pilot right there. So that's pretty cool. We got another title for our, you know, little Marauder right here. We got an achievement also. So that just proves that we just managed to, you know, complete this mission, which is what we wanted. Alrighty guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and just complete this mission, and then I'm going to do one more. Hopefully I can complete a short mission, and then we can end off this episode. But I mean, like I said in the little intro, I don't want to, of course, do all this in one video. Because that would be incredibly long. Like, I mean, there are a ton of, you no know, missions, of course, in Star Wars Republic for these space missions. And like I said, I mean, it would take a really long time just to go through all of them. So I'm just trying to, of course, you know, complete... A reasonable amount, I feel like 3 is a pretty reasonable amount considering some of these space missions are pretty long and lengthy. Now this one, it recommends ship upgrades of any, which basically means that you can do this with no ship upgrades. And this is incredibly easy, so I'm just going to be killing everything like instantly, as you can probably tell. So I mean, it's not really a challenge, it's just kind of, you know, a way for me to, you know, get an achievement. That's one good thing with the space missions, is besides the bonus missions, which, you know, people try to go for, I mean, I try to go for them, sometimes I don't get them, and I'm okay with that. But I mean, it, to be honest, that's what a lot of people like to do, is they like to go for the missions right here. They like to, of course, you know, just uh, go for some stuff. Now, that's a bonus mission right there. As you can tell, there are quite a few bonuses in this whole entire, you know, little thing right here. So we're just going to try to complete the objectives quickly first, because I feel like those are... No, of course, the most important thing to complete, you just want to complete the actual objectives first before anything. So there we go. We are just going to do that right there. Just destroy that. Okay, we got five minutes left, and we are already completing the mission. So, yeah, we are just getting all these bonuses right here. We just got to make sure that we are careful. You know, we just got to, of course, continue to do some stuff. But yeah, that's the one good thing about space missions is they are pretty relaxing, and they are a simple way to get achievements if you don't have them. Which is why I'm currently doing them, of course. So we're just going to go and just do this right here. Let's attack that one. No, we don't even need to attack this, but we're going to do it anyways, because why not? There we go. Looks like we are almost completely done with the mission already. We got 4 minutes and uh, 31 seconds, and we just get to, you know, just sit here. Just complete the bonus objectives, of course. Okay, let's destroy that so we don't have to worry about it. There we go. Destroy that one. Like I said, I mean, we have 56 missiles left. We are just completely stacked and set. So, we're just going to take them out. Now, I know for one thing is that a lot of people, a lot of people actually like to, of course, you know, attack. Uh, not really attack, but a lot of people really like to, of course, complete it. Uh, I say a lot of people really like to complete these missions because they are pretty simple, but the dailies are a huge pain. Those are the things that can cause quite a headache. Now, I actually just kind of realized this, but I believe that there is a bonus mission to destroy the bottom part of, you know, this uh, or the space station, I do remember that. And you do have to lock onto it, but I don't have, I don't think I actually have the proper missiles to do that, which is going to be an issue because I won't. Oh, maybe, never mind. Can I destroy it? Oh, looks like I can actually destroy it. 
So I remember what I did on the Republic side, because some of the missions are pretty identical, I believe. Is that you can just go and just use one, you know, a proton torpedo, I believe it is. And you just lock onto it, and then it blows up and destroys it instantly. So I was assuming, you know, it might not be possible to destroy it, but it looks like it is. Which is really good news, because of course, you know, that would suck just to complete all the bonus objectives and not be able to complete the mission itself. Alrighty, so, you know, we still have uh, some of these uh, things right here. And I'm just going to go and just uh, start with some overkill. I mean, we already completely ruined the space station, but let's just go and just mess it up even more. So there we go. We actually have one right here. Just go and just destroy it. There we go. We got that one. We still have torpedoes on it, but, or, you know, missiles, but... Even then, it's too late. We got one more bonus to complete right here, and we will be done with this mission. So we got two minutes and nine seconds. Like I said, I mean, with the ones where they recommend any level of upgrades, it is pretty boring, not gonna lie, because, I mean, you just gotta wait around, and they are really easy to complete. So you just kinda just uh, sit around, don't really do anything, and that's uh, just all there is to it. Now, like I said, I mean, these, uh, I guess say the rank five missions, the main ones they have to complete, the most difficult missions for the achievements, you know, they are pretty simplistic, not gonna lie, if you are overgeared, which is one thing, of course, because, I mean, you can gear your ship. But even then, you know, the things where the real challenges are, are the daily missions, which actually do require some serious skill. I mean, I actually haven't gone after them. I remember just hopping into one as getting completely obliterated. So, I mean, you do actually have to have, you know, just gotta understand how to strafe. You just gotta, you know, just be really careful, just understand what happens in the mission. Now my question is, is we're almost at one minute on the clock and we still need to get that one final defense satellite. Oh, there it is. I can see it. I just need to get close to it because I can't actually attack it right here. I really hope, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go buy it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going directly to buy it. So I can just uh, go all the missiles on it. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. We will get it right there. Looks like we got the bonus mission and we get a achievement, of course, you know, for just the mastery. There we go, you know, that's 10 out of 10, we just managed to master this uh, really simple mission. I'm pretty sure anyone can master this. But, yeah, now we just gotta wait around for, you know, a, you know, an amazing 25 seconds, just wait for this mission to end. Yeah, I mean, that's really what uh, space can boil down to, or the whole entire, you know, little game mode thing they have in the game that a lot of people seem to forget about. But yeah, we got another achievement to work uh, towards, of course, you know, another thing. And that is the Imperial Ace Legacy title. So we completed this one, and we're going to go to one final space combat mission. All right, guys, so this is the final space mission I'm going to be doing for today. Now, this is a grade one mission, so this is obviously going to be also incredibly easy. But yeah, guys, like I said, I mean, the space missions, they aren't too bad for the achievements. So, I mean, anyone can really do them. The only thing I would recommend is just try to get grade five or higher because some of the missions... I believe it's like two or three of them because I mean I've done one of them already and I mean some of them are grade 5 so you are going to want some extra protection but I mean honestly both times I've just gotten the purple grade 6 and 7 stuff from the GTN on the Ebon Hawk. I'm pretty sure all the other servers will likely have some space armor and stuff just to help out with this so that is you know just something you should do because I mean once you get that you can actually you know gear up your ship I mean my or my ship is actually spazzing out as you probably just saw for a split second there. But I mean, that's just all you have to do, of course, uh, I guess say, to gear up your ship uh, for the end game, you know, uh, ship uh, game, I don't even really know what to call it. But even that, it still is on rails, and that's just all you have to really do here, is just go and just, you know, shoot down the uh, fighters. Now, likely in the next episode of the Achievement Hunter, I will show the Imperial Ace uh, Legacy Tale, just to prove that I got it, because I mean, like I said, I don't want to just record every single mission, because that would take forever and be crazy. But once I am done all of them, of course, in the next Achievement Hunter episode, maybe even the Stars of Public Challenges episode, I just will show the Imperial Ace just to prove that I actually completed it. Because, I mean, I don't want to just have people that say, you know, I'm honestly just faking it or I'm too lazy to, of course, uh, you know, uh, complete the whole entire thing. I'm just doing it for a video. Because, I mean, honestly, like I said, I mean, I did mention this in the first episode, I believe, is I do want to, of course, you know, uh, complete this series, mainly because, you know, I still feel like it is pretty fun to just go ahead and just try to, you know, get many achievements in Stardust Republic. And I do want to, of course, you know, just to clear this up and just try to complete as many achievements as I possibly can. But yeah, guys, this meme is too dank. We are already at 56 out of 60. Okay, there we go. Just finish this up right here. Nice. All right, then we're already at another bonus right here. That's what we want. We want another bonus to, of course, complete. 
So there we go. We're going to take down these fighters right here. I'm not sure if I will complete the bonus because you do have to basically take down almost all of them for this to work. So there we go. We're just going to take them down one by one. We are not letting any of them escape. That's the one plus about being OP though is if you want to complete the bonuses for the easier missions, it is really simple to do. And that will allow you to get even more achievements just to go into your collection. So there we go. Just go and just get those right there. Alrighty then. 24 out of 40. We are doing it, you know, too nice. Just a two nice right here. There we go. 27, 28, 29. We're just, you know, counting it all the way up. We're just destroying all of them. Okay, it looks like I can actually shoot through the rocks uh, so or the asteroids. So that's pretty funny. So there we go. 35 out of 40. We are almost done. Uh, just we need one more to take down. And there we go. Just managed to do that right there. We are just going to try to shoot at that right there, of course. There we go. Just continue to shoot at the main, you know, little bridge deck thing. And there we go. That was actually a bonus mission right there. 10 out of 10 IGN. So, it looks like we uh, just managed to master this amazing uh, little space mission. So, now we are done at this one, just working towards the Imperial Ace. So, if you guys enjoyed the Star Wars Republic Achievement Hunter video, as always, if you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.